Hey guys, today is Tuesday, October 11th. <coughs> okay, so today we're going to be going over lesson six, which is area of triangles. We should know area of triangles already pretty good. We've been working on them for about two weeks now. Um, circles, rectangles, triangles. Uh, those kind of shapes like that, just basic shapes that we should know, have circles, trapezoids. Okay, so today we're talking about area of triangles. We, we should know those pretty good. We worked on those, like I said, not the week it was out, but the week was before then. We worked on some of those rectangles and triangles. Okay, so problem number one. To find the area of this right triangle, Diego and Jayla used different strategies. Diego drew a line through the midpoints of the two longer sides. So this is what you're talking about right here, the midpoints, okay? Of the two longer sides, which decomposes the triangle into a trapezoid and a smaller triangle, okay? So this right here is your um, trapezoid and a smaller triangle. There's your triangle. Here is what they're considering as the, this is what they're considering a trapezoid, not the dotted lines, but from here, 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 here. And another way to view that is this right here, okay? Not the whole thing here, okay? So triangle to a trapezoid and a smaller triangle. So here's your trapezoid, here's your triangle, okay? So here's your trapezoid, here's your triangle. What they've done here is basically moved that triangle up here. So that basically kind of no longer exists. It's kind of up there. That should be all the way down, I'm assuming, okay? So he can decompose that into that. <clears throat> he then rearranges the two shapes into a parallelogram. Okay, so basically, once you if you take that line away right there, you're going to have a parallelogram. Okay. All right, Jada made a copy of this triangle, rotated it, and lined it up against the lined it up against one side of the original triangle, so that the two triangles make a parallelogram. Okay. So all she did is make a copy of this and basically flipped it over right here. Okay. So to original triangles so that two triangles make a parallelogram. Explain how Diego might use his parallelogram to find the area of a triangle. Okay. So we, we've talked about what they've done there and you're explaining how Diego might use his parallelogram to find the area of the triangle, which is right here, okay? That empty triangle right there. Explain how Jada might use her parallelogram to find her area, to find the area of a triangle. Okay? So we talked about, she doubled that, made a, I'm sorry, made a copy of that and rotated it into a parallelogram. Okay, and then she's got the dimensions right there. So explain how she might use her parallelogram, which is what she created here to find the area of the triangle, okay? So, uh, I suggest that you work it out and then as you're working out, explain, write down kind of what you do, okay, on both of them, okay? So you got room there, if you need more room, you can work it out on a separate sheet of paper. Don't have a whole lot of room there, but you know, you got enough there, I think. Problem number two, find the area of the triangle, explain or show your reasoning. We've had this multiple times doing these right here, okay? Multiple ways to try to find out the area, okay? So you explain how you're doing it or clearly, clearly, clearly show how you've done it, okay? Problem number three, which of the, which of the three triangles has the greatest area? Show your reasoning if you get stuck. Try using what you know about the area of parallelograms, okay? which three triangles, okay? So that's, uh, must be continued on the second sheet, okay? So mainly what we're working on is these right here, these right here, and like I said, this is on a separate sheet, okay? Uh, we're gonna meet in groups today, have that stuff done. Also bring your other geometry pages that you are working on, have those done also bring them to you just for a small group. We did rearrange the small groups, so I will call those out when we do those. So be listening up, folks, okay?